Well, this week saw some wild market swings, so let's talk about what you need to know before we head into the weekend. Joining us right now is Lisa Shallot, Chief Investment Officer for Morgan Stanley Wealth Management. Also, Joe Terranova, who is Senior Managing Director at Virtus Investment Partners, also a CNBC contributor. And, and welcome to both of you. This has been uh, quite a week, and a lot of people are trying to figure out what this means. Joe, let's start with you. Are we done with this? Was this a, whoa, here we go, and then a never mind? Or does this trend continue, the sell-off that we've seen in some of the big tech names? Well, I think we need to distinguish when we say big tech names between established growth and emerging growth. I think as it relates to technology, investors want quality, uh, whether it's Microsoft, Alphabet, Lamb Research, those are quality names. On the other side of that, the emerging high beta hyper growth names, those are longer duration assets. And as long as the economy stays in this reflationary state, there will be vulnerability and volatility towards those names. And I don't suspect that that's going to uh, end anytime soon. Lisa, what do you think? I mean, if you look at Tesla, it's up today. If you look at Bitcoin, it's up today. But if you're looking over the course of the week, Tesla was down 15 percent over the first four trading days. And that does uh, tend to get people to sit up and pay attention. What, what would you be advising clients when they ask about stocks like these, some of the high flyers, some of the big tech names? So, you know, look, I think directionally, we absolutely agree with Joe that, you know, now is the time to be a stock picker, to focus on quality, to focus on the ability to achieve earnings. Uh, and when it comes to, you know, the, the sell-off that we've seen in some of these tech names, um, you know, look, I think we're going to see this readjustment uh, in uh, to higher interest rates uh, in fits and starts over time. Uh, and as a result, you know, the the strategy that we're recommending is to be a stock picker. Uh, and, you know, uh, we've been in a long period of time, the last 12 years, uh, when many of these names traded as a block. Uh, you know, traded as a sector. And I think that we're starting to see some of that really break apart uh, with stock specific risk uh, taking uh, uh, the lead. And, um, you know, our sense is that, you know, there are going to be companies who are uh, more growth at a reasonable price and can achieve the earnings estimates uh, that are out there. And there are others, as, and we've already seen even it here in this first quarter. Uh, that are making execution mistakes or missing numbers. Uh, and those are the stocks that we'd really be avoiding. Lisa, the one thing I'll say is watching the sell-off and things kind of pick up where you saw the averages get dragged down a little bit, um, it, it did seem like the buyers kind of came rushing back in. And I, I just wonder, is there so much money on the sidelines that every time you see a drop down, do we ever see a 5% or 10% pullback in the major averages again? Well, you know the answer to that is, of course. Um, uh, you know, <laughs> we, 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 well, we, you know, look, you know, history suggests that, you know, in any 12 month period, you know, the odds of having at least huh. a 10 to 15 percent drawdown are really pretty good. Um, and so, you know, we haven't had one uh, in a while. Our contention is that uh, we're approaching that moment. Uh, when we will uh, see a 10 to 15 percent correction, in large part because we all just need to accept the fact uh, that we're past the sweet spot, uh, that we are at what we call peak everything, peak accommodation, peak year over year earnings comparisons, peak earnings revisions uh, and, and, and um, you know, uh, peak GDP growth. And from here, uh, policy most likely on the margin is going to begin to tighten, whether we're talking about uh, the fiscal cliff and, and uh, you know, payments and stimulus from the federal government slowing or the Fed actually right. having to begin to talk about tapering, uh, which we do think happens right. uh, at the beginning of 2022. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.